let's take a look at how we calculate specific VAT items and how we calculate VAT and some of the complications we need to be aware of. VAT is at 14%. So when a vendor wants to sell their goods, if I want to sell my goods, I have to add VAT to my selling price. Now, keep in mind that I can't just make VAT part of my selling price because I have to pay this over to the receiver. So if I'm sitting down and I'm deciding how much to sell my goods for, I'm going to take into account the profit that I want to make. I want to take into account all my costs and all the things, you know, all the salaries and the wages I have to pay and all the, um, you know, the production process and everything. So when I'm selling something, I'm going to consider what it is that I want out of that at the end of the day. Okay. Whatever it is that I want out of that, I've got to keep in mind that the receiver says to me, whatever your selling price is, add 14% to that. So whatever your selling price is, you need to add another 14% to the selling price and then give that 14% to the government, okay, as your output fat. So that is your output fat, okay. So if I want to sell an item for 100 Rand, if I look at it and say, well, if I take my entire production process into account and all my costs and everything, I should be selling my item for 100 Rand, then... I will add 14% to the selling price. So 100 Rand times 14% equals 14 Rand. And that is how much I will add on to my selling price. So my total selling price, and we talk about this as the VAT inclusive amount, will be my selling price plus the VAT that I have to charge. My output VAT equals 114 Rand. Make sure that you're comfortable with some of the terminology and the way that we need to look at this, the fact that we're looking at 114 Rand, an additional 14 Rand on top of your item, on top of your selling price. Because when we start dealing with calculations or amounts that are slightly more difficult or slightly more complex, this starts getting a little icky. So my VAT inclusive amount is the amount that I am going to sell my item for, as well as the 14% that the government says I must add on to this, okay? So my selling price is 100%, plus the 14% that the government says I must add onto it gives me a selling price of 114%, okay? In this case, because we're dealing with Rand values of 100 Rand, it's quite nice and simple. Let's take a look at another example. If I wanna sell an item for 80 Rand, okay? If that is my selling price and I believe that that's gonna recover all of my costs, etc., I have to add 14% of that to the selling price. So 80 times 14% equals 11 Rand 20. So that 11 Rand 20 represents 14% of my selling price. My total selling price, therefore my VAT inclusive amount, will be 80 Rand plus the 11 Rand 20 VAT, which means that when I put it on the shelf, I will charge people 91 Rand 20 for it. And when someone gives me 91 Rand 20, I'm going to take 11 Rand 20 of that and give it straight to the government. And only 80 Rand of that actually comes to me. Thus, the VAT exclusive amount, and again, get used to the terminology, the VAT exclusive amount will be 80 Rand. The VAT inclusive amount will be 91 Rand 20. And the VAT itself will be 11 Rand 20. Okay, make sure that you're comfortable with these calculations and make sure that you're comfortable with these percentages. And again, when the numbers are quite simple, um, you know, everything's fine. It's when they start getting a little more complicated that things are, things start becoming a little bit more difficult. Another way we can calculate this on our calculators instead of using percentages is by multiplying it by 0 0.14. So instead of saying 80 times 14%, we could say 80 times 0 0.14 will still give you exactly the same. So multiplying something by 0 0.14 is exactly the same as multiplying it by 14%. So on a calculator or in your exam, there's another way of doing this. Instead of always saying times 14%, you can multiply that by 0 0.14. And what that's basically saying is that that is 0.14 of the total amount. So my 80 Rand, again, and watch the percentages and think about what we're doing here. My 80 Rand represents 100% of my selling price. The government says I must add another 14% onto my selling price, which means that when I actually sell this item for 91 Rand 20, as we calculated over here, that actually represents 114% of the number. So let's look at this another way. We've looked at calculating the VAT first, then we've added the VAT to the selling price. We could do this in one step. 
instead of saying 80 Rand times 14% is 11 Rand 20 plus the 80 Rand equals the total, we could do this all in one step and go from the exclusive amount to the inclusive amount by saying 80 times 114% will give me my 91 Rand 20. And you'll see it's exactly the same amount. Or based on the logic that we picked up here, we could also say 80 times 1.14 gives you 91 Rand 20. This is my exclusive amount and this is my inclusive amount. How do we get from exclusive to inclusive? I multiply by 114%. Now be very careful that you understand why we're using 114%. My total selling price represents 100% of the value that I want from that sale. Okay. And that I said was 80 Rand. So the 80 Rand represents 100% of the value that I want from the sale. But the government said I must add another 14% to that value, which means that what I am selling that for is 114% of the price that I wanted. Okay. And just keep that in mind because this 100 and this 14 and this 114 is going to become very important when we start playing with these numbers. So just pay attention to this. Take another look at it. Go back, work these calculations backwards, forwards. Make sure that you're happy with that. But make sure that you're comfortable with the fact and make sure you're very comfortable with how to get to your inclusive, your VAT inclusive amount from your VAT exclusive amount. And keep in mind and make sure you understand why your 80 Rand represents 100% of your selling price. Plus the 14% that the government says you must add on top of it means that you actually sell it to someone for 114% of your original selling price.